what is a variable anything that changes is a variable yes just like time time changes constantly never remains the same another very common example of variable is age age never ceases to change actually it changes with every passing moment all right let's move to an example and write it in a mathematical form meet sarah let's say sarah works in a tech company for 7 hours a day every day so 7 is the number of hours that is fixed and sarah has to work 7 hours every single day no matter what but sarah can increase the number of working hours if she wants to earn some extra cash So let's say she works 3 hours as an extra shift on Mondays and 2 hours as an extra shift on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays she doesn't want to work extra. So she works 0 extra hours on Wednesdays. And let's say sometimes she works 1 extra hour on Thursdays and 4 extra hours on Fridays as well. Now the number of extra hours is changing every single day. and she gets to decide how many extra hours she want to work that day so these extra hours are variable in addition to the fixed number of working hours that is 7 and the total number of working hours for a day can be written as 7 plus extra hours or 7 plus eh if we are using initials for our convenience So this expression 7 plus e h is an algebraic expression. But in algebra we normally use letters to represent the variable quantity instead of initials for our convenience. And these letters are usually x, y and z or a, b and c, but they can be any alphabet for that matter. So if we rewrite our mathematical expression in an algebraic form we can write it as 7 plus x where x represents the same extra working hours the variable quantity and 7 represents the fixed quantity of everyday working everyday working hours basically this x is a symbol that represents a varying quantity and this symbol can be anything it can be a square or a star or any shape for that matter we just use x y z for our convenience i hope you get a general idea of what a variable is from this video if it's still unclear do these four exercises and i'm sure you will get the hang of it once done check the answers in the description box below Subscribe and smash the bell icon to make sure your maths teacher never gets mad at you.